Well, hello and welcome back. In this episode, we're talking about belief. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I just feel like a fraud. How can I really believe in God? I can't see him. I can't touch him. I can't shake his hand or give him a hug. I can't prove him beyond doubt. So how could I possibly believe in him? And so this is something that I actually still struggle with growing up as an atheist. How do you believe in something you can't see or touch or feel or prove? So what does belief even mean then? So in this episode, we're going to look at a number of verses about belief. How can we believe in God? Is it just commanded? Or does it give any tips on how to believe? As uh, Doubting Thomas said, I believe God. Help my unbelief. Let's learn together. Verses about belief. Romans 9.33 Even as it is written, Behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone and a rock of offense, and no one who believes in him will be disappointed. This came from Isaiah 8.14 and Isaiah 28.16. Mark 9.23 Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. John 20.29 Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. John 12, 46. I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me may not remain in the darkness. John 6, 47. Most certainly I tell you, he who believes in me has eternal life. John 6.35 Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will not be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. John 3.36 One who believes in the Son has eternal life, but one who disobeys the Son won't see life, but the wrath of God remains on him. John 3.18 He who believes in him is not judged. He who doesn't believe has been judged already because he has not believed in the name of the one and only Son of God. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John one twelve, But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become God's children, to those who believe in his name. Acts 16.31 They said, Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved, you and your household. Acts 10.43 All the prophets testify about him, that through his name, everyone who believes in him will receive remission of sins. 1 Peter 2.6 Because it is contained in scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, chosen and precious. He who believes in him will not be disappointed. This comes from Isaiah 28, 16. May God add blessing to the reading of his word. So now it's time for our new modern expression. This is the golden calf. And this is a pastime that is unwise or something that you use as an idol. The common one is money. So this comes from Exodus chapter 32. Verses 2 through 4. Aaron said to them, Take off the golden rings which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, 
and bring them to me. All the people took off the golden rings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. He received what they handed him, fashioned it with an engraving tool, and made it a molded calf. Then they said, These are your gods, Israel, which brought you up out of the land of Egypt.